citizen of Uganda, uh, because uh, currently we see the human rights temperature in our country, Uganda, so high by this uh, brutal regime of autocrat Museveni. And we are so concerned because uh, we cannot let a business to be like this when we are losing lives each and every day. Our brothers, our sisters, our relatives, all Ugandans. And this is the regime of Despot Museveni that promised you know, to, to bring peace in 1986 when we were coming to power. But what type of peace have they brought to Uganda when they are killing thousands and thousands of Ugandans? What kind of liberty has Museveni brought with, that he promised us in 1986? You've seen a father crying because his child was kidnapped by the state. And most of the victims of these uh, arbitrary arrests and detentions without trial are you know, young people. So they are below the age of 35. And uh, if you look at the demographics of our population, we are about 78% uh, of us who are below the age of 35. So. Uh, we are so concerned about uh, the abuse of human rights because uh, nobody is held accountable. And we are living in a regime whereby uh, the government officials are taking over the impunity that is condoned by Despot Museveni. So we have to call out uh, such atrocities that are happening to innocent Ugandans. It is not a crime to support uh, Chagulanyi Robert Sentamu as our president of the National Unity Platform. So uh, we have to call out Despot Museveni together with all uh, his regime, because right now the police is uh, you know, militarized. So we no longer have a police that keeps law and order. It has been taken over by the military. So look at uh, the new IGP, uh, Paul Okech. He was heading, uh, you know, Amazon in Somalia. So they brought a military uh, major from Somalia because they call him the king, the lion. Is it the lion of Mogadishu? And you know, he's brought to head the police. So the police the cannot. Run, the police cannot be run by you know an, an officer because uh, the trainings are different. So now uh, we are seeing. Uh, this Polo Cage, uh, the, the, the new IGP, uh, deputy IGP, uh, soldiering in the police, which is wrong because the trainings are different. If you look at the trainings of the police, they're different from the trainings of the army. So now, uh, Despot Room 7 is doing this deliberately to put fear in Ugandans because they are rising up against his military uh, dictatorship that has you know, failed Ugandans for the last 36 years. And again, uh, we call upon the government of Uganda to release these uh, innocent civilians or all the political prisoners who are incarcerated in different uh, you know, uh, prisons, in different torture chambers, immediately and unconditionally, because it is not a crime uh, to support Chagulanyi, Robert Sentam, or any uh, opposition political party. Otherwise, uh, you know, multipartism will lose meaning. When Despot Museveni says that he brought multipartism, it is a lie. Because today we have a one state party in this guise. The rest of the political parties are just in names, but they are not functioning. They are not allowed uh, to perform their duties. They're not allowed to peacefully assemble and, you know, uh, bring alternatives to the government that has failed. So what kind of system is this? This is a banana republic. And as Ugandans who are concerned, we have to rise up and say enough is enough, this misrule of this bottom 70. So we call upon all uh, the international community, all the human rights bodies uh, to hold accountable to all those individuals or the perpetrators of human rights abuses so that we bring their names to books of justice. Uh, because if we don't do that, then it means that uh, we are condoning whatever is happening in our country, Uganda. We cannot afford to lose any more lives. So this is happening when the world is silent. Look at uh, today what is happening in the African continent. Where is the AU? The AU is silent. So the AU is now led by a club of dictators. So until we get rid of uh, the small club of African remaining dictators, from the African Union, we can bring reforms to this uh, African institution, and it calls out uh, despots like Museven on the continent who are daily uh, abusing our rights. Now, look at the East African community. It is silent we to, when you are uh, facing this. So uh, I think uh, we just have to uh, speak up, and also we have to make sure that we call out uh, any person who is abusing our rights, expose them, put them on social media platforms, bring out their names, bring out their pictures, 
to make sure that the world knows them and very soon we shall hold them accountable. But uh, we stand in solidarity with our comrades who are being incarcerated. Uh, we stand in solidarity with our comrades uh, who are also seeking for justice because today justice is blind. So uh, justice is not blind, but in real sense, justice has to be blind. So why are they not uh, giving bail to our comrades? Why are they kidnapping Ugandans for simply uh, criticizing the government? Being a dissident does not mean that you were threat to democracy. That is what strengthens democracy. But Despot Museveni, he thinks that dissidents are a threat to democracy. It is so absurd, but we have to speak up and fight against uh, this misrule of Despot Museveni.